Philosopher fans, Earl at the Logbook.com here, back with another little piece of the Game Boy Library. This one again on the Game Boy Color, and it's Activision's 1999 revival, the arcade game Space Invaders, which was originated by Taito in 1978. A little help, Crawfish Interactive. This is a case where you can pick your ship and decide, uh, you know, if you wanted to have any particular strength or weakness. I really prefer the the one that's kind of middle of the road on everything and doesn't have anything that's particularly a weakness. Obviously, we are uh, we're way ahead of way out ahead of previous home versions of this game in terms of graphics and sound. But there is also uh, you know, kind of an, an element of reinvention here, where the game has been tweaked significantly for the expectations of a modern audience in terms of. There's a power-up, so now I've got laser boost for as long as that uh, little progress bar lasted. You get the power-ups by uh, downing a mothership kind of handy that they have those on board for you. Shield boost, okay. Now I can... I, I was able to for you know, a period of maybe all of a couple of seconds able to blast away with immunity. Let's have another power up. Oh yeah, more lasers. Controls are pretty simple, and if you uh, if you double tap your your D pad, you get a, an extra boost in the direction you're going. It's a really colorful take on Space Invaders with, uh, with some modernizing touches that don't break the game. It's actually quite a bit of fun. Activision also did a really cool, uh, you know, modernized Space Invaders remake on the PlayStation 1 that I 
enjoyed quite a bit. Back when that was a uh, relatively new thing. Yes, you can still shoot straight up through your own shields. You know what this game needs? A big red space crab. Well, actually, kind of looking at these uh, the guys in this one vertical row, um, so you kind of have that. shield indicator in the bottom right hand of the screen um, indicates how many direct hits you can take before you're done, before you've lost that life. So the shield boost, really, that's what that applies to. It has nothing to do with the, uh, the stationary shields across the bottom of the screen that we all used to try to hide under, you know, too little or no discernible effect back in the Atari days. Oh, I'm in 
trouble. Or maybe not. I basically have no shields left at this point. Next hit takes me out. Oops. Sure does clear the room easily, quickly. <laughs> so there you have it, Space Invaders on the Game Boy Color. Um, really nicely done reinvention. It's uh, it's not the original. It uh, definitely changes things up a bit, but that's okay. 